Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can install realistic vehicle failure on your 5M or 5PD server. This works on both, I have tested myself, so make sure to use it if you have both, because this actually gives out a lot of helpful things, which makes your GTA more realistic and allows for better role-playing and stuff. So, what this pretty much does is it does a few things. Your vehicle will fail faster than it does by typical. That means if you hit something, you can damage the vehicle. It may start smoking. Your um, car, once you s maintain like a certain amount of damage, your car will actually start to slow down and eventually just won't move anymore. It adds the command slash repair, which makes it like, like a f quick fix. So you can like put some wires together, kind of like how you saw in uh, DOJ episodes or other role-playing episodes in the past. Type slash repair repairs your car and allows you to move a little bit slower, but allows you to get to a mechanic. If you are outside of a mechanic and you type slash repair, it will fix your vehicle like normal. If you do fix through a trainer, it will also fix your trainer like normal. But one thing I really, really like in to this uh, resource is actually the smooth driving feature, which gets rid of the weird GTA driving system and redoes it with a bit of a simpler system where you can stop easier, uh, easy speed controls, you can drive at a steady speed rather than like braking and stopping. I really like it, so, you know, that is terrific. Um, anyway, in order to use this at all, all you're going to do is go to this page down in the description below, go ahead and uh, just scroll all the way down and press the download button, which will take you to GitHub, go over to the releases tab. And then just go ahead and click 1.1.1 or whatever version it is, source code.zip, and just download that. Make sure you have WinZip or something installed to open the file. Whatever you have to open a zip file will work perfectly fine. You don't need anything else. We are expecting you have your 5M and 5PD or whatever you want server set up. Um, if you don't, go watch our video on how to create one because that will really help you in this step. But right now we're just going to go ahead and get this file and all we have to do is drag this to our desktop or somewhere. We're just going to keep it down here until we can get into our server data folder. So we're going to go into our server data folder. You're going to open this wherever you are on your computer or in your server. If you're using this on FTP, just open it up. Go to the resources and this is where you're going to see all the resources you previously have installed. We have installed all these custom ones in the videos pre previous to this. So if you haven't seen those or if you want to learn what these are, go check out those videos. And then all you have to do is actually drag this straight into this folder i'm going to rename it and just delete the dash 111 so it's a little bit easier and i'm also just going to copy this uh name so you can see realistic vehicle failure it has all of this in here back to your server data your server cfg file which is the file where you define everything that starts and then just add insure or start depending on what your default one here is and realistic vehicle failure just like that and then when we start the server it will actually load up the realistic vehicle failure but we're going to take a quick look at inside of your server data resources realistic vehicle folder you see the config.lula file you can go ahead and edit this with notepad plus plus and there's a bunch of stuff you can change in here so you can change how much of the vehicle visibly deformed from a collision from zero to ten negative one just disables it um from what i remember uh yeah negative one disables it uh 0 0.4 for the handling files of all this collisioning de uh, handling and everything uh, damage factor for your engine, body, petrol tank, exponent, multiplier, health speed, failure speed, all of this. So you can configure all of this. You also can configure um, the different thresholds for how low the health should go and what the engine safeguard is. The torque multiplier enable is uh, decrease the engine torque as the engine gets more and more damage. So if your engine gets more and more damage, you're going to slow down. That's pretty much what that means. Limp mode, if true, the engine never completely fails. So what this means is the engine will just keep driving very, very slow, and it will only drive at a 0 0.15 speed rather than your typical speed. But that means it will give you the option to get to a repair shop without anything. But if you flip your car over, this script prevents you from flipping it back, so you will be stuck in that case. Prevent vehicles flip right here. You can't turn your uh, an over and upside down vehicle. Of course, you can turn that off if you want. This is what I really like is the Sunday driver, which is the different types of braking and everything. You can configure this to your liking. Display blips, should we show mechanics. Compatibility mode, if the fuel tank or something or whatever you're doing, if it's modifying it, just go ahead and turn that to true and it will uh, prevent that. And then you can always do random bur burst tire intervals as well. I was interrupted by a phone call, but anyway, you can, um, you don't want to touch this. So you don't really want to touch this, but you can increase the damage for all of the different types of cars. I just leave it at default. So it makes it a little easier, but if you want to increase the uh, lower, the damage for like military vehicles, so they don't bre damage, uh, break as easily, just turn that down even more. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and launch our 5M server and launch our 5M and get in and just make sure everything's working how it's supposed to. And we will check out the script. Of course, if you need support with this, I recommend contacting the author of the script rather than me. I can provide limited support down in the comments below, but I cannot provide the support the author of the resource can provide. So if you have any major issues with the resource, make sure to ask the author rather than me because I don't want to be overwhelmed with support requests, which is, it's fine. But I don't actually know the answer to half of them because I don't work full time on this resource. I don't make it. So please just um, keep an eye on that. Anyway, let's just hop into our game here and check it out. If you need any support, again, please let the author or me know so we can be aware of it and I can help you out. Um, in terms of videos for this week, uh, we have another 5PD coding video coming out very soon. So stay in mind, stay in tune for that. Can't speak. Tired. I've recorded like five videos today. And I am literally out of my breath now. Um, so clearly tired. Just waiting for 5PD to load and 5M to let us in. And we can go ahead and check out if all of this worked. I do recommend using this along with the player location display and the fuel script. Because it just makes it a little bit easier and more realistic to use. We'll be going over how to install like a uh, viewer of how to view the damage of your car and stuff. With your license plate and speed and stuff next episode. Which will be probably on... Friday so make sure to stay tuned for that uh, that will be coming out Friday I believe and it will really improve on top of this and your other improvements we've already put into your 5m servers so I think that will be really cool all right we are actually loading in now finally we're actually in um, let's go ahead and take a look at this I'm gonna switch over to my window of 5m so you can see it a little bit easier here we go all right, so we are loading in. Hopefully this loads quickly. I'm sorry for the delay. There we go. Okay, so we are loaded in. And this is actually the perfect place to test this. So we're just going to spawn like your default police car or something up here. Um, not default police car, but some police car. And we're just going to spawn it up here. Now, we're going to try to break this as fast as possible just to see what happens. So if I throw this thing off a cliff and I like run into a tree, it should damage the vehicle. Um, and I shouldn't be able to really recover that much. So... You can see we are twisting around here, uh, falling down the mountain. I can still drive, but you can see it is slower than it was a little before. Um, the more I damage my vehicle as well, the um, slower it will go. So you can see I'm going actually only a top of 40 or so miles per hour now, just due to the fact my car is actually smoking and is physically damaged. And you can see slowly I have now come to a stop and I can no longer move. I can use slash repair. And it says, you put, you put the oil plug back in, now get to a mechanic. And you can see I am now barely moving. So my max speed is like 30 or 40, but you can see I am moving. And of course, if I like crash again, the car is just going to start braking and really, really start slowing down. So it's a very useful script. I highly recommend using it. Another thing which I would recommend uh, trying out with the script is if you actually come to a stop, you won't reverse, which is terrific, and your brake lights will actually stay on, which makes it a lot more realistic. You have to click S tw a second time to actually reverse. Same with going forward. You have to click W a second time to go forward. This does take some getting used to, but it is so... So that is pretty much it. That's all you have to do to install it, and um, yeah, cool. All right, so we'll see you on Friday for the next 5M slash 5PD thing, and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time.